boil and bake box to you are very similar. Uh, they've got the same recipe in them. You've got 250 grams of grated raw potato, 250 grams of cooked mashed, and about 160 grams of flour. With the boiled box tea, you don't add any butter into it. But the most important thing, again, is extracting as much liquid out of the potato as you can. Again, time of year and type of potato are very, very critical to this. At the bottom of this liquid, the starch will settle. You leave that liquid settling for about 20 minutes and pour off the liquid and you'll have the starch at the end of it. Some people add the starch back in. It helps bind it. With a pancake, I add it back in. With a boiled, not so much. Cooked mashed potato in with that. We've got our flour in there as well. About 160 grams of flour. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A bit more salt. Not as bad as they say. And this, you've got to knead. You've got to knead it into a dough. Into a nice dough. Now, if you've got a mixer, pop it in your mixer, put the dough hook in, turn it on, and let it mix. For the bread, don't overmix it. For the boiled box tea, you, need to, you, can, you can mix it pretty hard because you're going to bind that together. The baked and the boiled box tea are the same recipe. I've just been kneading that a little bit there. But the difference, again, is you add butter into your baked one. This helps the process when it's baking. You can add that in earlier if you want. You can actually crumb it with the flour if you think it's probably better. Either way, it works pretty good. Form it into a nice little cake, like so. Pop it into a pre-greased tin. Let me get your wee cross. And that you pop into the oven at 180 for about 50 minutes. When the boxy loaf comes out of the oven, you let it cool down. Uh, overnight's better, stick it in the fridge, you know, let it cool a little bit, stick it in the fridge overnight, wrap it in cling film if you want. Next day, take it out, slice it. We put a couple of slices here. We're going to refry this on top of the griddle. Give it, heat it up a little bit. We'll just butter it, not too much. Just enough to fry it and pop it on the griddle. So they're toasted on both sides. Remove from the griddle. You can dress these with whatever you want. Use it like uh, bruschetta. We've got a little bit of tomato con casse here with some oregano. That's lovely on top of it. You can top that with a bit of cheese. Or we've got some lovely smoked salmon. And finally, just finish the smoked salmon with a squeeze of lemon juice. Delicious.